All right, so uh, we've had the first major Stormgate tournament just now happen. Parting is the champion. People have been grinding on the ladder for, what, maybe like two and a half weeks now. I thought it'd be a fun idea to make my own tier list of the units. Obviously, this is not the final version of the game. We are in the elephant build, if you find this video later on on the internet. So we don't even have tier three yet. We don't have the third faction, but I'm gonna go off what the most recent patch was, give my thoughts on each of these units. Yeah, let's have some fun. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of content. I, I think it's always a great way to stir up some conversation. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be making a lot more content like this down the road. First unit that I'm seeing, we're gonna put in its place. We need to take the Hornet and immediately put that into S. The Hornet is so good. This thing is so scary. We don't know what its final version is gonna be. I, I don't even know. I, when I put this in S, by the way, th this is a, does not mean that I am calling for a nerf or that this unit is, is unfair. I think it's okay for units to have different strengths and ranges as long as they serve some kind of purpose or function in the game. But dude, the Hornet is crazy good. It can gun down Shadow Flyers if controlled correctly. It can just completely waste workers. It does enough damage. At least right now, one Hornet does enough damage to stop an enemy defensive structure that could counter the Hornet from even completing, which is, that's a lot, man. That means if you get this out and you're ahead of them, you're probably gonna close the game out. But even without that, it's just a really strong unit overall. I'm gonna take the Brute. And I'm gonna put the Brute right at maybe a C. I could move this later, but the Brute, look, this is like a okay unit early. I think that Infernals need this or they would just be way too brittle. But as the game goes on, they're, they're so slow. They're almost obsolete. You're almost better off making them and then splitting them into fiends and trying to like counterattack a stray base somewhere or try to run in and kill workers. If you've played Infernal, you'll know what I'm talking about. I don't think it goes to D yet. I don't. I feel like some units are going to have to go into D here. I could even put this unit into D. Yeah, I see Gauntlet says the Brutes need to upgrade in the late game. It makes me think like they need to have like the Ogre Mage High grade or some, uh, upgrade or something like that later on. They just don't serve a lot of purpose. And at least in the current state of the game, they are so much so on the slower end. They don't have any real functionality other than to tank a little bit for Infernals in the kind of back and forth Vanguard Infernal kiting match. But yeah, they just don't get a lot done, you know? Up next here, I think we're gonna just take the Dragon. This is another one. I think this is an easy call. This is an S tier unit. It's a good unit. By design, supposed to be the, the S tier unit. Very costly to get. But once you have it, I mean, there's so many ways you can snowball a game into a win with it. There's a lot of different ideas uh, you can have from it, just like tanking damage in the front using that mass infest and I'm sorry, the unit's ability name escapes me, but you suck the infest back up to gain the white health. Uh, or you can harass worker lines and, and, and kind of cause a snowballing effect with that. But yeah, I mean, the, the drag, it's just an all around good unit. It's supposed to be a good unit. I think it's done effectively what the mothership was unable to do in StarCraft 2. The mothership was always supposed to be kind of this crazy epic unit. And instead it kind of, it kept getting nerfed down. You know, they got rid of the, um, what was that called? The time warp where you can make the Archon toilet. So anyways, it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's a very good unit. Easy call for me to make there. Imps, I'm going to put either in B or in C. I'm almost tempted to put this into C, but I think with the imp self-destruct ability, it's good. I, a lot of people are complaining that the imps are like banelings. The imps blow up like banelings, but they are not banelings. If you've used Banelings before, I mean, you can go around the map so easily and quickly. When you make a Baneling, you have that Baneling forever until it blows up. And the idea in StarCraft 2 is you just have enough Banelings that at any moment you can blow anything up. The difference with the Imp is that the execution is really not easy to do. When you activate it, it has to blow up, I think in four seconds. I think it's an okay mechanic. It's I know this is a point of controversy with a lot of um, players, and I get it. And I think everybody should you know make their case. The truth is it's a slow unit. It's hard to get across the map. We've seen Parting put him in Doombringers to try to move out and then and then activate him that way. But yeah, it's it's not like a StarCraft one worker where it's really strong and it can do a lot to the enemy early on. You can't even really use him to scout, to be honest. They're so slow. In fact, that's where the Fiend kind of comes into play here. So I'm gonna put the imp there and I and just in case, because I know that someone will make this argument, like, yeah, but they make the buildings and the buildings are really good. Yeah, I know. 
I know. I mean, but that's a worker. That's what a worker has to do. I mean, beyond just being able to make the buildings that make all the tech and stuff. I'm coming at this as like a standalone unit and, and the things it can do and, and the power it has in a battlefield or, or in a situation. I think this is like right in the middle. We're going to go to the Lancer next. I would have thought this was like a C tier unit, but I think this is really like a, a B tier unit. I'm almost tempted to put this in A, but I think B is where this belongs. Um, it seems like in the last week, especially seeing what Kimian was doing, it's got a lot of potential, but it's kind of that backbone unit. Yeah, no, I agree, Chess. No, way it's about it. as bad as Brute. The question would be, would I put Brute down to D and Lancer over here at S? We might have to rebalance this a little bit later. The upgraded ability where as it receives damage, it gets a speed boost. That makes it pretty crazy. It's solid. It's a solid unit. It serves its role. It's not overpowered. It's not underpowered. We're going to go to the Spriggan. I'm going to give the Spriggan a D right now. This unit does not seem to have a role in the game like it's supposed to. What's funny to me about it is it's it's spo supposed to be like a Mutalisk. But right now, it just doesn't seem like it can generate the kind of threats. Obviously, we don't have all the matchups laid out yet. But it doesn't seem to be very good against Infernal or Vanguard. Like this, I mean, if you have one tower with an Exo in it, you're fine versus Spriggan's. It does appear that no matter what's going to go on in the game right now, you're going to have Gaunts. And the Gaunts can kind of just deal with the Spriggans. Plus, the Infernals have Shadow Flyers. So I, I don't know what role the Spriggan has right now, but the Spriggan is all the way down here at the bottom. I'm going to take the... Why am I forgetting the name of this unit? In my head, I always call this unit a bicycle helmet. Hedgehog, thank you. Hedgehog, I'm going to put, I think it is a C. This was a really good unit. It's not a bad unit. It, it, it's decent at it, it countering air attacks. It can kite and kind of scout around the map. I've seen some players mess around with hedgehog openings again. They seem to be coming back a little bit. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be a, a unit that can really drive the matchup. It was in the very first tournament we casted with uh, Moon versus Mana. Well, actually, I guess nobody was playing Vanguard with those two. But when TLO played Mana, we saw TLO use them. A lot of other players are using them. But they don't seem to be that strong for now. I think, by the way, one way to change some of these units in their tiers, if Frost Giant did want to improve that, is to give you know them an upgrade of some sort as the game gets further along. You've seen people snipe air with four hedgehogs and good for scouting. Yeah, it's good. I think it goes to C, though. I don't think it's as good as you know the Imp or, or the Lancer, for instance. We're going to take the Gaunt. We're going to have this be the first unit that's an A. Now, some people might think this is an S tier unit. I think it's really good. I think you've got to get Gaunts. Um, they're very weak, which I think makes them a little bit different from the, the Hornet or the Dragon. Gaunts are extremely powerful. They're a must get. At the same time, I mean, they're so weak. They're so weak. If, if you can get them cornered at all, they're they're very, very easy to kill but definitely, definitely powerful units. I'm gonna take the Fiend and put the Fiend right here, B. I'm actually glad the, the Fiend got a bit of a speed upgrade. It did seem like everything on the ground right now for Infernal is slow. I don't know if this is gonna stay the case. We'll get to the Weaver in a little bit here, but Infernals are just not quick, but at least they have one unit that they can make that can be sped up so that you can actually trap fleeing units. Like that's one thing you can do with the brutes now is if you if you get into a position where you where you realize you might be able to just catch a chunk of their army when they're on the run you can split all your brutes into fiends it's a little bit e uh sorry not easy it's a little bit more difficult excuse me to do that because they change the hotkey so that you can't mass split them you have to like manually spam it out but yeah i mean the, the, the fiends a, a good unit i think it's i think it's got a cool role i know it's been pretty controversial for the infernals i can't imagine they're going to change that though I know some people don't like Infest. I actually kind of like it. I mean, I am also playing Infernal, so there's that. I have my biases, but I think it's a fun idea of having, you know, a, a faction that can use its damage to, to cause so many more units to come into the game. It's kind of a fun idea, so they'll have to try to balance the game around that. But I think it goes to B. Gets killed pretty easily by most stuff, but, you know, it's it's good. We're gonna take the dog. Now, I don't know about you guys. I'm thinking the dog might have to go to D. The dog, for a while, I would have said it was like a, a B or C tier unit. And I, if you guys tell me if you think I'm crazy for this, but I think dog goes C or D. Chat says, hell no. You smoked tasteless. <laughs> what is this? What do you guys think, C, B or A? Are there still lots of dog openers? I feel like I don't encounter them at all anymore. 
Oh, you guys didn't get to play after the nerf. Okay, I think the dog still goes into C. I would have put the dog into B earlier, but I think with the nerf, I think the dog is not quite as insanely powerful. Maybe I'll put it in B. I don't know. Look, for me, it feels like C. I feel like it's not that hard to deal with the dog openers anymore. Maybe it's more of a factor in Vanguard versus Vanguard. Yeah, in Vanguard versus Vanguard, some meta. Okay, maybe then that's I should put it into B. Maybe I'm, I'm too biased from my own position. As Vanguard, it's annoying. Yeah, as Infernal, I'm just not afraid. I'm only afraid of Lancers now. Medtech? Is that what this is called? Not Medic, right? Medtech? I think this goes into A. I mean, it's it's really good. It gives you a lot of sustain. I don't think it's it's as insane as like the Dragon or the Hornet, but it's it's really good. It's, it's crazy good. I don't think that needs much explanation. I've talked to a lot of good players. I was actually talking to Artosis, you know, during the semifinals. We were both on Discord watching. And, and we were both talking about, like, Vanguard does seem to be really good. Once people can figure out how to tech into these really sustainable armies that can just soak damage and keep pushing, it's crazy, man. It's just not that easy to get there. I'm going to take the Weaver. It is good. I'm going to put it at C because it is so, so slow. It is the slowest thing in the whole game. It is good good but it's slow it's huge you, you think it's b tier no i feel like you know these units above are a little bit more handy if you're going to tell me that you think the weaver is just as good as the flame imp i would have to disagree just the fact that it takes so long to move it around now i i kind of like the design of that by the way i i mean i think if it was fast that would be insane but the fact that it's it's a, a sluggish clunky unit due to its slow speed even trying to get it to harpoon the right units sometimes that doesn't work out as well as it, it it should because it can't even get into the range where it's going to get the catch and, and punish the same way. I think it's much easier to just try to stay out of Weaver range for as long as possible uh, with Vanguard. Let's go with the Magmadons. I think this was a B. Magmadon is also slow. It's a little bit annoying, but I think it's a little bit easier to get in there and start to do that trample. I think it's great that it can tear down trees. That turns out to be a thing I use a lot when I'm playing the game. And, and I think it's more useful than Weavers. Yeah, I agree with you, Dunner in chat. There's a couple here that I'm a little bit uneasy ranking, but we're going to try. I do feel like the Doombringer, I'm going to put do the Doombringer first. And then, I'm, and then what is this one called again, chat? Is this just a drop ship or something like that? This, I think we got to put up here. I'm thinking A or B here for the Doombringer. Evac, thank you. Sorry, sometimes I have my own name in my head for these units. What do we think? Doombringer A or B? Yeah, I think A if it's if it's mechanics weren't buggy right now. The fact that you can pick up while it's moving, it drops Shroud, which is wild. The fact that it compares so well with Gaunts and Magmadons, it just feels like the Infernals have better drop techniques available to them. Too much speed and HP. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really good. It's really strong. It gains its own white health back when it lands, right? Is that correct? So we're gonna put that up here and I'm gonna put the evac just over here at B. It's just not as good as the Doombringer. Is there anything I'm missing with the evac that 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 it can do things that maybe the Doombringer can't chat? Do we know? I know it pairs well with the Atlas, but I mean, I don't know if that, I mean, I just think that it's, the Doombringer's a lot stronger. Speaking of which, we're gonna go with the Atlas now. I'm thinking C, it is slow. Unless it's with an evac, I almost feel like it's a D. But again, I, I don't feel like it's as bad as a Spriggan. But yeah, the thing about the Atlas is it just doesn't feel like it's a fast unit compared to like a lot. Of, you know, Vanguard's a pretty nimble race. It also doesn't seem like Vanguard needs the Atlas when they push. In a lot of these matchups, it doesn't. It's it's sort of like a a win more move. It's a weird unit because you get enough of them with Bio later. It's very good, interesting. Atlas is a tier in, in Vanguard versus Vanguard. Oh, it zones nicely. Yeah, I'm still gonna put it down here. You have to make it stationary, and it doesn't seem i know it's supposed to be the tank in a lot of ways like the starcraft one or starcraft two tank but it doesn't feel like it's playing the same role the tank does i'm gonna take the um exo i i'm thinking this is s tier and the reason why i'm gonna put this in an s and not a is because it gets the veterancy and, and it's crazy how good it is with some veterancy and it's it's actually right now its range is really good i know that they die if things get really close to them but in the current state of the game, it's fast enough, it's hard to get to. Like as Infernal, I have to go for fiends to try to pin them or surround them. Like they'll kite me all day. By the way, one kind of a little thought here. Vanguard looks too basic for how strong it is. This looks like it's supposed to be a Marine. This unit is insane. This unit is so good. 
I mean, it's wild. It's a stalker, not a marine. I think it's way better than a stalker. It's like a stalker if you could never catch it. And it actually does more damage. So that's my take there. It's a ghost with abilities. Well, no, because the ghost attack was bad. Well, I'm thinking of StarCraft 1 ghost. Maybe you're thinking of StarCraft 2. Stalkers have blink. You can't catch them. Yeah, but I mean, you will you can blink once and then they, they'll try to run up and catch you. I don't know. I think it's better than a stalker. I think it's much better than a stalker. I'm going to take the Bob and just put that as a B. I think this would be a C or a D tier unit, but I think the fact that it has that overcharge is great. I wouldn't mind if they had a different ability for the, like one ability to boost production speed, but then a different ability to make it stronger, to give it like that militia like ability. It's good. I mean, I can't, I can't possibly put it into A. I don't see why I'd put it into C, but I think if we had to put this like, you know, where this would be, it's closer to C than it is to A for sure, but I think it goes right in B. Another unit I think goes to B, honestly, is um, the Hellborn. The weird thing with uh, Infernal is that they have three units that are painfully slow they're they're so slow like the magmadon is actually faster is fast compared to the weaver and, and and the hellborn so it's hard for me to put the the hellborn higher up i'm not saying they're bad units but and by the way i know this is looking like we got a decent amount of vanguard up here at the top but i think the reality is a lot of what makes infernal good is just the infest and you know accumulating that early on versus creeps using it with the doombringer to do damage and, uh, and uh, yeah, get, get that uh, animus and and then uh, get the dragon, basically. Hellburn attack, wind up, and their speed is... Yeah, you know what? Maybe we should actually put this as C. I forgot about that. You you can't, like... The wind up is crazy, and, and if, if it's canceled, it's gone. He has to, like, do that whole thing all over again. Yeah, I'm going to put it at C, actually. It's going to go to C. You guys are right. Where do you think we should put uh, this... What is this thing called? The science vessel? Sentinel, thank you. I think it's a D. I have not had any experiences that have wowed me with it. Again, I'm not really playing Vanguard in my games. I don't feel like I need to get it. I am okay being wrong if this is if someone does something incredible with this later. But, you know, I don't feel like we saw a lot of this in the tournament. Maybe it's supposed to be a C or a B, but the, the players don't seem to think so. Shadow Flyers, I can't tell if I'm just bad at using them. I feel like they're C or B. Yeah, I feel like Shadow Flyers are C. They're situational. They're... they're they're not a direct counter in some of these situations to the Hornets. Like, you can kill Hornets with them, but if they're controlling the Hornets right, it seems pretty tough. Maybe if they made the mechanic to, to micro it a little bit cleaner. It reminds me a little bit of the Flame Imps where, like, on paper they look really busted. Or, like, in a demo. But then when you try to use them, they're, it, it's not that clean cut. Like, it seems like it needs a lot of practice. You think B because they do scouting? I don't know anybody who's scouting with these things. Maybe in the late game people get them. Is, is anybody else having that experience in the chat scouting with Shadow Flyers? I feel like you scout with uh, Brute Fiends or you poke with your, your fiend generated uh, army from killing creeps. Yeah, I've never seen him scout. But who knows? Maybe they'll be used to scout later on. I mean, we're all still learning. Then the Vulcan, I'm thinking of putting this in A. This thing is great. It can be countered by the Weaver, but it's like a, a good unit. It seems to be useful in, in tearing down trees. It's a little bit more nimble. It's it's certainly not fast, but I think especially when you pair it with the med techs, it's like, it's kind of crazy. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it. You guys think Lancer A tier? I'm going to leave it at B. It can go to the front of B here. All right, guys, that is my list. We're going to zoom in for you. Drink it in. Thank you for doing this with me. We'll do another one when we get to the next patch. I'll revisit this. Maybe maybe I will decide the Lancer is A, chat. Right now, I feel like it's a, a strong B. It's the strongest of the Bs. I'll put it like that. But I appreciate you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you think I'm crazy for that Lancer being in B. Yeah, and, and what, what do you think is OP or not OP? Can the Spriggan be saved? Was I wrong about the XO going all the way to S? Am, am I too biased? You know, it's hard for me to get outside of myself, right? Uh, I've been playing Infernal. I certainly got my whole perspective just grinding on that. So maybe I have my own biases against uh, uh, Vanguard as well. And uh, you're always welcome to join me on my Twitch stream where I record these things live with my community. And go to tastelessthreads.com where you can find my merch. We've got a lot of cool stuff. I think you'll find something you will enjoy there. Have a good day. Stay safe out there. And I will see you in a future video.